Hey, Cameron McKenzie here. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. Right now, I wanted to talk to you about PDF files, and specifically PDF files that are sitting in a directory that you want to open. Here, I'm going to show you how to go into a directory, get all the PDF files in there, open them up, and then do something with them. Starting off this project means creating a new process project called Get Me All PDFs in the folder. It's a long project name, but that's kind of what I'm doing here. And what I want to do is I want to get all of the PDF files and open up all of the PDF files that are in this C attachments folder here. So I'm actually going to need that path. So I'm going to copy that right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this folder. I'm going to get a list of all the files in this folder. One at a time, I'm going to open them. I'm also going to maximize them, and then I'm going to close them. That's going to be me proving out how you can go into a folder, get all those files, and open them up. And then what you do with them when you open them up, that's up to your robotic imagination. OK, I've opened up the main.xaml file here, and I need to add a workflow element. I need to loop through all of the different files in that file folder. And so that's under workflow control. And coming in handy here will be a for each loop. And so I want to get every file that is in that directory. You can access the directory object here. It's got a get files method. And in get files, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put in the name of the folder that you want to access. It's got all of your files in it. So directory.getfiles and then C colon attachments. That should work. And what do I want to do once I've got each of these files? Well, with every single file, I want to open up the PDF file. And to do that, I have to find the start process activity. You can see it there under available system application start process. So you know, sometimes I like to just go available system activities. What was that? What was it start process? Applications, sorry, not activities, applications. Start process. And I can just drag that over here. And what do I want to start? Well, I want to start the process that's associated with this file. So I just say file dot two string in here. I don't know if I need to do two string, but it's the polite thing to do. And that should start up the PDF viewer for that particular file. Now, what else do I want to do when I open up this file? Well, you know, I mean, I'm guessing you're going to do some scraping, getting some data. I've got some tutorials that show you that. But right now, I'm just going to maximize the, the file just to kind of prove out the whole functionality here. And you can do that by sending a hotkey to the application. So I'm going to grab the send hotkey and drag that over. And I believe it is Alt space X that maximizes a window. Now again, that's there's a space X there. You can't see the space. It's a, an invisible space. But there is a, a space X there. And that should open up the screen. Now one of the things you need to do here is click this indicate on screen what program you want to actually send that instruction to. And so you got to have your PDF file open. <clears throat> so there's the PDF file open there. I'm going to click this indicate on screen. Boy, it's getting busy on my screen here. But what, what do I want to actually send the hot key to? I'll go indicate on screen. I'll click that program and it'll say, OK, fantastic. We will send that hot key to that particular program. Now, one thing to note, and this, this is annoying, but if you look at the selector for the if you look at the selector for the send hotkey, you notice it's hard coded the name in. So if I if I get order one zero zero one zero or one zero one five, it's not going to work, right? That command's not going to go to it. It's going to be looking for an Adobe program with that name. So I can actually just deselect that, and now it's not going to look for a specific file name. You'll want to do that. It won't work if you don't do that. Similarly, when you close an application. So the next thing I want to do is find the close application option. And there's the close application, system application, close application. I'm going to drag this onto the page as well. And again, it says indicate on screen which application you'd want to close. And so I'll click indicate on screen. I minimize the screen here so that I can see my PDF file. So I've got indicate on screen. 
I click the PDF file and this is okay. We'll close that PDF file when we run. Now the problem is that's PDF file 1001 and we're gonna be opening up a bunch of them. So again, you gotta go into the selector here and where it specifies that particular file, you gotta deselect that. That's not what we want. We just wanna close any file that's a PDF file. And there you go, I think that's pretty much it. Can I bring this all in screen? Yeah, I don't know if that makes it look any better, but uh, it gives you a bit of an idea. I'm gonna go back to 100% again. Um, so for each file in that directory, let's go through it one at a time. For each of those files, start the process associated with it. That will kick off Adobe. Then here I'm gonna send a hotkey, that's Alt space X. I think that's right, sometimes I say Control instead of Alt. That should maximize the file. And then finally, we'll close the application, making sure that we've turned off the actual title of the selector in both of these. Right, that title's deselected. Okay, I'm gonna save. Now I'm actually gonna make sure that I don't have any PDF files open, and it looks like I do not, so that's good. I'm gonna move this over here, and I'm gonna run. And there's one, two, maximized, 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 closed, maximized, open, closed. And I think that happened one, two, three, four, five, six times. I'm gonna run it again because it went pretty fast. There's one, two, three, now I'm getting bored, four, five, yep, and it's all different orders, and then six. And there you go, we went through each of those PDF files, opened them one at a time, did an operation on them. In this case, it was just sending a hotkey, but you could be extracting text. And that's all you have to do in order to go through a bunch of PDF files in a single directory. And there you go, that's how you can get all the different PDF files inside of a single directory, open them up, run a hotkey on them, and then close them. Now, we're gonna take this one step further in subsequent tutorials. We're gonna start extracting text and scraping text and doing all sorts of interesting things with those PDF files, but I think this is a good start. Anyways, if you wanna learn more about UiPath and other robotics tools, head over to the serverside.com. We've got all sorts of tutorials on enterprise software development there. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.